It's time for a throttle body sync on the FJR 1300. Welcome to Mike's FJR Corner. Today we're going to be doing a throttle body sync on the FJR. Um, Yamaha suggests about every 6,000 miles to do a throttle body sync. Um, the bike is well beyond that, so it's uh, ready to uh, be synced. Um, we're going to be using, um, I have two different products and um, I could use the Carb Tune, which is a great syncing tool. Um, it uses uh, metal rods within the tubes uh, as opposed to using mercury. And this is an overall excellent tool to use on syncing. Um, however, I'm going to be using this product, which I bought on eBay. Uh, and it's a custom made product. Um, they 3D printed the case. Uh, it's based around the Adreno processor. And um, basically it has four uh, vacuum inputs and it Bluetooths to a phone. Um, I've used this before, it works very well. Um, so this is what we're gonna be using today. So let's get into syncing the throttle bodies. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is remove the seat. Uh, then we're going to remove the black panels on both sides here. Do that by removing the screw and removing a push pin that's right here and taking the black plastic, putting your fingers behind it and pulling out. Place a towel over the gas tank to uh, protect the tank. Now remove the two tank bolts using a 10 millimeter wrench Using a 12 millimeter on both sides, loosen the tank bolt. We're now going to be lifting the tank. Um, I have this stick which I made, which has a uh, nail in one end and a 45 cut with a nail on the other end. I use this stick to help hold up the tank. With the steering straight, carefully lift the tank while Making sure the hose is clear here and make sure we clear the steering and slide this into the hole and into the hole on the top. Place the towel over the fairing to protect the fairing. I'll just kind of tuck it in and just kind of tuck it along here. We're now ready to do our throttle body sink. Uh, we have the bike nice and warmed up. There are four vacuum ports uh, all along here, which we have to take the caps off. Each cap has a little snap ring on it. Um, just take and grab the end of the, of the rubber with some pliers and gently pull up. Okay, this device I powered on. I'm gonna let sit without anything connected for uh, about 30 seconds so that it zeroes out all the input channels. I'm going to set that to the side and I got my application loaded on the phone. Okay, we're going to turn on the Bluetooth and we're going to search for the device. Where's miscellaneous? There we are. One, two, three, four. Pair pair DBX TBS. Okay, go back to the application and connect to the TBS. Okay, now we're connected. Now this device, I believe they're 4321. Let me check this channel on the right. Yes, I raised channel one. So we're going to put this on the one closest to the left side, put the next one on the next cylinder. Let's see if I can find it. Okay. Put the third one on the third cylinder.
and the final one on the fourth cylinder. I just kind of tuck the rubber shrouds up out of the way. Um, no need to really remove them. Here we see a chart of the throttle body showing the adjustments. For the Gen 1 years 2003 through 2005, cylinders 1, 2, and 4 circled in green are the only cylinders that can be adjusted. Cylinders 3 marked in red is the reference cylinder. We will be adjusting only cylinders 1, 2, and 4 to match the reference cylinder 3. Please study this chart and find the adjustments on the bike. Make sure these adjustments look like the photo. Please check your service manual for the year to verify that cylinder 3 is a reference cylinder on your bike. Caution: Do not attempt to adjust reference cylinder. This cylinder has been calibrated at the factory and any adjustment to the reference cylinder may cause loss of calibration to the ECU. Also, there are three screws connected to the butterflies that have a spring under them and may have paint on them. Do not touch these screws as they are factory calibrated to the ECU as well. Start the engine. And adjust for 1,050 RPM. Now with the engine running, you can see cylinder 1, 3, and 4 are all running fairly even. Cylinder 2 is running a little high. Um, cylinder 3 is our reference, so with any adjustments you make, you don't move cylinder 3. You move 1 and 2 and 4. And that's just with the Gen 1 motorcycle. Please check your manual for uh, the proper reference cylinder. So we're going to move cylinder number 2. Slowly move it parallel to cylinder number three. And you can get really accurate with this because of the, uh, it also gives you the digital numbers. I'm going to bring cylinder 1 down to the track. Double checking our idle speed. Now we have the throttle body sync. Uh, they're all running within 0.1 units of each other. Replace all four vacuum caps. And lower the gas tank. Being careful uh, not to pinch any wires. Place the towel back over the gas tank and replace the two bolts holding the front of the tank. Snug down the bolts. Tighten down the rear bolt. Replace the plastic panels on both sides. Reinstall the push pins. Reinstall the screws and lightly tighten. Replace the seat. Well, this concludes the video on sinking the throttle bodies. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up or the subscribe button. Um, and again, I thank you and goodbye.